Happy Sunday afternoon. We've got the winners to the six week wellness challenge. I am going to make you wait to the end of the video to find out who they are because there's some really good information that I want to share with you guys before we get to that. So the reason why it's mid afternoon and I'm finally getting everything done is because I went about it a little bit more challenging way, which was to have to manually come over, find everybody's starting weight, ending weight uh, via your four digit ID number. So thank you guys for getting those to me. But it also provided me a unique opportunity to learn something. I had to go through and look. And the men and women that did really well with this challenge did more than just the bare minimum three in-bodies. They did almost a weekly in-body. So what I'm encouraging you to do, whether you did phenomenal and you're on a winning team, whether you did really good somewhere in the middle, or maybe the time wasn't right for you, use the in-body frequently. I am challenging you. If you're not where you want to be with your body composition, make it a six-week, an eight-week reoccurring appointment to get on that machine. There's data behind it that the more times you get on there, the more likely you are to succeed. Number two, if you're not on one of the top three teams, you could have still won either a nutrition sit-down or a personal training session. How are you going to figure that out? Is essentially take a look at your first in-body and look at your body fat mass. If you change that in a positive direction by 10%, you are entitled to a personal training session or nutrition sit-down. So if you had 50 pounds of body fat mass, easy number, 10% of that, 5 pounds. If you now have 45 or less, let us know and we'll hook you up with that nutrition sit-down or that personal training. Next, we really want to drive home the idea that don't do six weeks and stop. That's one of the most foolish things you can do. So how can we help give you guys a little bit more motivation? So if in the next six weeks, so from now until I think I looked at it, April 15th or 16th, if you bring your body fat mass down another 10%, I'm going to give you 50% off your next month. So let's use that same example. If you started six weeks ago and you're at 50 pounds and you brought it down or uh, 10%, you're at 45, you got your nutrition or your PT, and you do another six weeks and you crush it and you bring it down another 10%, so 4.5, you are going to get 50% off your next month. If you don't know whether you did that or not, come see me and I can show you on your actual numbers what you did. So again, don't take six weeks and then say, all right, yeah, good enough, and throw the car in park. Don't put the car in park. All right, so we talked about uh, if you do more in-bodies, you're probably going to see a better result, so make it a reoccurring appointment. We talked about how to know if you qualify for that free nutrition sit-down or that one PT session. We talked about six weeks from now, so you keep that motivation going. And now let's talk about who won. And I find this very interesting because a lot of times we'll hear men and women say, well, I'm not going to do the nutrition challenge because I don't think that I can win because it's always... The, the larger framed individuals or it's always the smaller framed individuals. And there's a perfect spread of everything from smaller framed, younger, older, and everything in between. So really, when you say I'm not going to do the nutrition challenge, it's an invalid excuse if you're blaming it on frame size. So number one, in third place, with an overall body composition change of 8.23%. Again, if you guys want to come in and see this, all the numbers, I'll show it to you but I don't feel comfortable putting everybody's body weight on public display. So in third place, 8.23, positive change in body composition, Sarah and John Griffith. They're non-members. They actually came down. They were referred to us by somebody. They came down and did, did, did the challenge, and they did phenomenal. So Sarah and John, third place. Second place and first place, very, very, very close. In second place, uh, two newer members, Matt Pacheva, and Ryan Paparella, so 9.05 to Matt uh, Pacheva and Ryan Paparella. The tongue twister there. And then first place, again, this is kind of interesting because we've got everything from younger, little older, taller, short, and everything in between. First place with a 9.26 overall body composition change, Kim Stevener and Dana Dundon did a phenomenal job. Everybody on these top three teams did really well. And it was a big... Uh, Big combination of not only dropping body fat, but maybe increasing skeletal muscle mass or maintaining it. So if you want to see your individual numbers, please come in and see me in the office and I'll give them to you. Uh, prizes will be available tomorrow or Tuesday, depending on what I have to go out and pick up. But great job, guys. And remember, even if you weren't on one of the winning teams, you are still in the running if you uh, accomplish this goal. And then you can still be in the running for this. So don't, don't, don't put the car in park. If you need some more individualized help, you can always 
hook up with a coach for nutrition coaching. Have a great day.